warn you today, something happened. After last Friday, I received 753 emails, all on the same issue. Thank you. I could be off on the counter. <laughs> but the criticism was that we really goofed and really didn't do well this couple of paragraphs. So, um, I could ask you a couple of questions just to help you out. Um, was there some goofball named Plato who sent in that email? Sir? Was there some goofball named Plato who sent in some of that criticism? Yes. A whole group of people. They strolled over to my house and carried play cards. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, my God. Yeah. Bonfires were lit in the yeah. middle of the yeah. street. Jesus. Ah, it was That's a terrible I thing. I downloaded everything, and that was it. Did we connect or something? Mm -hmm. Ah. So, um, <clears throat> If we can just answer this, then we can keep on going from where we left off or raise other questions. <clears throat> because that's that whole section on a bunch of questions, and there are a couple of them among a set of interrogatives that are not included in that section, which is curious indeed. So. Um, Let's find out, shall we? Now, what's nice about it is that it's really just a sentence to Pick it up at 37A about in as much then the soul, of course. <clears throat> in as much then as she is composed, blended of the nature of same and the other and being, these, these three portions and is proportionally divided and bound together and revolves back upon it herself, whenever she touches anything which has its substance dispersed or anything which has its substance undivided, she's moved throughout her whole being and announces what the subject is identical with and from what it is different and in what relation, where and how and when it comes about that each thing exists and is acted upon by others, both in the sphere of becoming and in that of the ever uniform. Hmm. 
and her announcement being identically true concerning both other and the same is born through the self moved without speech or sound and whenever it is concerned with the sensible and the circle of the other moving in straight course proclaims it's the whole of the soul opinions and beliefs arise which are firm and true and again when it's concerned with the rational and the circle of the same spinning truly declares the facts uh, the facts of reason and knowledge of necessity result that's what occurs so they're just to, do you believe there are only two sentences to worry about, right? And therefore, we can dismiss it, can't we? Or even though the criticism was pretty severe. What was the criticism? Oh, well, one is that we ran over it and really didn't understand it. And the few people who did understand it only had a part mm. and weren't able to take the part and relate it to any whole. And, couldn't relate it to what came before or after. Therefore, the whole purpose of why it's in there was a question. I pointed out in defense, my defense was very good. I said, my copy doesn't have those two sentences. <laughs> <laughs> and who's going to Good idea. That must have been added later. Yeah, I'm going to use that. Yeah, so I escaped the criticism. Okay. <clears throat> Being carried on without speech or sound in the self move approximately you no know, in the center there, how can something be carried on without speech or sound? Well, we need some help. Could we be could we be uh, kind of backing into phronesis? No. Yeah. What are the words for that in Greek? What are they without speech and sound? Okay. Obviously, you know, whatever is conveyed isn't conveyed in the normal sense. Well, no. Yeah. Uh, Can we create an example that fits each of these questions and points? And if so, what might be the real object that Timaeus has in mind when he uh, spells out those two sentences? So, since it's only two sentences, we don't have any trouble. this we? Who is the we that doesn't have any trouble? I'm having trouble back here. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You must tell us what kind of problem you could possibly have with these two sentences. Hmm. What kind <clears throat> of problem? Well, hmm. the problem I have is with your question. I don't know how to answer it. Okay. Is that fair enough?
see, is it possible that this section has a parallel with earlier sections of the text? Remember, we were raising this point earlier that there's a whole set of terms that are being used here, and that even though the terms vary, nonetheless, it's the same term behind them all. Yes. Remember? We said, given the idea of being, <coughs> as being functions differently, so its function takes on a new name. Right? right? Or model, right? But this is nothing other than being, agree? <clears throat> mm -hmm. And in the same way, we could list other things, such as the intelligible living creature. And we could add more, agree to this, same thing. Would you not agree we're working on the assumption as a thing functions and as it changes its function so it gets on a new name even though the subject could be added to the same thing? Mm -hmm. So in the same way, is there anything that we can go back looking at parallel structures now? Like, um, um, certain phrases appear to be the same. Becoming and the ever uniform. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And same and other. Right? There's a, there's a whole bunch of terms similar. And of course, uh, idea same is no different than doing, etc. Just he's, how is it functioning differently? It takes on a new name. Therefore, it also can be apprehended in different ways, since a different way in which it's functioning. Like, uh, and I'll even add to it, is it possible this section has not just a parallel, but is a development of an earlier theme and is carrying it another step further. Hmm. Uh, okay, I just thought I'd ask. Hmm. If I thought I'd ask, shouldn't you think about an answer? <laughs> Look, you're sitting in an enviable place. You can call on people both to your right and left. Ah. <laughs> She's thinking, look, look, it's, uh, you got the right person. <laughs> okay. Um. <clears throat> All right, okay, let's do something else then. Well, it has some uh, feel of what the work we did last week. That's what we were working and um, 34C, where you, actually on the board, where you put up on the board the being, or the same other, and being, and how they come together, and that the function, let's see, being is... <coughs> let me try that. Are you saying it may be that all of the terms that we've been dealing with before are now recast in terms of the soul? And therefore, the whole universe, therefore, that he's been creating up to this point, he now says, let's put it in the soul. Then it's going to function differently, but it's the same thing. Might be. I know a good way to solve one. Let's vote on it. 
people went and voted and then read it. <laughs> no? Okay. No. Okay. Here, look here. Look here. Okay. We don't have much to do tonight. It's a rainy night, so let me suggest something. Um, have that long piece of chalk I did for a second. Get down. Hmm. Okay. It's, there's a pink one. Do you agree there is uh, <clears throat> such a thing as uh, an art? Yes. In Plato, the idea of art? Yes. Uh, kind of knowledge which benefits the subject. Know, benefits the subject. Benefits the subject. Oh, not the practitioner, benefits right. the subject. Right. 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 Look here. Does it follow if there is such an art, then the person who has that knowledge can then take on the role of a ruler if the subject is willing? Mm -hmm. yes. And if so, then they take on a new name? Yes. You, oh, oh, okay. Look here. <clears throat> um, Then, if there's an art of ruling, then in the political realm, then we would say ruler and subjects. By the way, there's also an art of ruling in husbandry. And therefore, there has to be some relation between these terms. And uh, notice that the word same and other can be applied in two ways. Both of these terms belong in the same category political art of ruling, and yet, in a subsidiary sense, there's also anotherness. Because certainly a ruler and subjects are different. But do you agree, over here, there is some uh, sameness, because shepherds and sheep belong in the category of husbandry. So you have the members are in the same, and yet equally well, they're other, are they not? Uh, would you agree there's some kind of relationship between these two and another kind of relationship? Because we want to say there's something about this that is similar. Not same or equal. Agree? <clears throat> yes. Well, if it's similar, means that's a combination of same and other.
<clears throat> and if you work out all the uh, possible ways in which a ruler relates to his, shepherd, to his subjects, you'll find the same same terms will appear in both columns. But understood differently or other. Right, because the um, A ruler might, in an emergency, ask his subjects to defend the state, but there haven't been many examples of a shepherd uh, getting his <laughs> sheep to defend. No? Not many. In terms of his, are you a student of history? Uh, of this kind, I'm very You're pretty sure there, are, there aren't many or there are no examples no, no, of a shepherd persuading his sheep to get into armor and help defend the flock? Yeah. No. no but they are both protecting, yes. right? So the terms are the same, but they function other, right, or different. Is that right? Mm -hmm. And it could also go backwards, couldn't you, right? I mean, just because a shepherd takes the sheep up in the mountains to get some grass, very few rulers will take their subjects and feed them grass, unless it's legal. <laughs> right? Right, 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 right. Um, say, is it possible that we could uh, use this as an example and read that section? Is that possible? We give it a shot. Um, anyone brought the text with them? <clears throat> By heavens, that would be remarkable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well. Hmm. Um. Would you agree there's something curious about the opening section of this, just to get into the, what preceded the two sentences? Um, Inasmuch then as she is composed, blended of the nature of same and other, and being. Hey, isn't this the, uh, curiously enough, it uses the same language, doesn't it? Is an analogy blended of the uh, same and other and must have some being to it, substance? Oh, oh, oh. And it's proportionally, and the word proportion is analogy, isn't it? So we're still in analogies. Huh. And the whole can be bound together. Now, would you agree we've dealt with this idea before in, an, in a higher sense? Whenever she touches anything which has its substance dispersed or anything which has its substance undivided, does that remind you of something that came before? Remember, same and other, the first appearance of being, the two kinds of being, or usia? Do you agree? And also there's the universe, I mean, the, the unorganized stuff, yes. and then bringing order in, in. Yes, that's even going back earlier. earlier. That's right. So then this idea moves in three places so far. Hmm. And it's functioning differently. Hmm. Ah, ah, 
that's rather remarkable. Oh. So let's see if that's the case. Look here. Um, if you were at 35 and had to look at that section 35A, <coughs> is the two kinds of being described in such a way as you can say, hey, it's the same thing, but in a reduced form in 35A to 37, is it? Yes, there's something added to it. Ah, I see, I see. Or developed. Yeah, or developed, yes, 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 yes. Okay, whenever she then moves throughout her whole being and announces what the object is identical with, now, um, take a look at that phrase. <coughs> Let's look at Thomas Taylor on that, shall we? How does Thomas Taylor express that idea? Got a Thomas Taylor? Raphael? You do? Tell me. Where exactly is it? It's at 37B. Uh, yeah, right on the nose. Sorry, it begins with. Uh, so, inasmuch as she is a compound, yes, yes. These three portions, then, is proportionately divided. <coughs> That's at thirty-seven a. Yeah, thirty-seven a. Stable and true opinion and belief are produced. The 
But when again it evolves itself about that which is to logistics and the circle of sameness aptly revolving announces any particular thing, intellect and science are necessarily produced in perfection by such an operation. <clears throat> Whoever therefore asserts that this is ingenerated in any other nature than soul asserts everything rather than the truth. Continue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when the generating father understood that this generated resemblance of the eternal gods moved and lived, he was delighted with his work, and in consequence of this delight, considered how he might be, how he might fabricate it still more similar to its exemplar. Hence, as that is an internal animal, he endeavored to render this universe such to the utmost of his ability. The nature, indeed, of the animal, its paradigm is eternal. Sorry. The nature, indeed, of the animal its paradigm is eternal. And this, it is impossible to adapt perfectly to a generated effect. Hence, he determined by a dianoetic energy to produce a certain movable image of eternity. And thus, while he was adorning and distributing the universe, he at the same time formed an eternal image flowing according to number of eternity abiding in one and which receives from us the appellation of time. But besides this, he fabricated the generation of days and nights and months and years, which he had no subs subsistence prior to the universe, but which together with, with it rose into existence. And all these, indeed, are the proper parts of time. But the terms it was, and it will be, which express the species of generated time are transferred by us to an eternal essence through oblivion of the truth. For we assert of such an essence that it was, is, and will be, while according to truth, the term it is, is alone accommodated to its nature. But we should affirm that to have been and to be thereafter are expressions alone accommodated to generation, proceeding according to the flux of time. For these parts of time are certain motions. But that which, per but that which perpetually subsists the same and immovable, neither becomes at any time older or younger, neither has been generated in some period of the past, nor will be in some future circulation of time. No, no, let, let me, let me see if I can get it now. Thank you. Okay. Um, let's see whether we can apply it r r right now for a moment. Um, but what are we doing? We're assuming, as an example, that this structure that we just put here might be used as an example. So can we go back to the first question? and ask, what is the object identical with? Next one. And from what is it different? And in what relation? Okay. So, uh, what is this identical with? Is that a weird question? Mm -hmm. So. Hmm. Oh. Um, what's the role of analogy so far from twenty nine on?
binds into a hole. Are we talking about that? The 29 line? Among other things. Among other beautiful things. What would you say? Uh, by the way, would you go by this principle, by the way, that the, uh, the idea of likeness is generated from taking alternate terms of the analogy and substituting the idea of likeness for right, is two. So we take alternate terms, would you agree? We can say a, a ruler is like a shepherd, right? And we can equally take it backwards, a shepherd is like a ruler, or the converse. Or we can say subjects are like sheep, Or the converse, sheep are like subjects. So every four terminology, we can generate, we do not agree, four similes, where the word simile means you're using the word like. Right? Yes. So how important is the idea of likeness in the beginning of the uh, Timaeus on page tw on section 29? Fundamental, or uh, you know, uh, the principle that it's necessary it's for the principle of all what's being generated. Yeah. Now, if we put it also in terms of not only that, but it's going to be the principle behind the idea of pronoia. Hmm. Hmm. How so? Providence. Yes. Right? Look, is that true? Right yes. from the beginning, let's go to 29 and take a look. Because it has to be designed to show pronoia. Yeah, that's right. Yes. That's what we're going to. Look, would you agree? Um, what does the Jamie Argus do? Oh, will he make the model like himself? Make a model like himself. Therefore, and and that's the very nature of the idea that all creation is coffee. True. And what kinds of men consider that the highest, most important principle? The wisest. Isn't it the most phronesis people? Yes, it's phronesis. Phronate, the most, the highest, the people with the most phronesis? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Ah. So, uh, would you agree, therefore, if the whole universe in terms of development of the idea of uh, the providence of God, the key beginning is the idea of likeness. Do you agree with that? Yes, sir. Ah, ah, ah. Ah. Uh, and if that's the case, um, From uh, 
We can go back earlier, by the way, but I'm just picking a 29 at this point. Um, How many of you agree he then generates an interesting, the next step, he in, generates a fundamental analogy? itself, right, is to, right, the visible living creature. And he adds, and us, of course, right, mean analogy, agree? Mm -hmm. Mean analogy. Okay. Would you agree he wants to inquire whether or not it's possible to have other models, and he said impossible, it can only be one. Agree? Agree. Ah, 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 ah. Uh, Would you agree he then uh, seems to jump, but he then wants to talk about the universe and it has to be tangible, visible and tangible. Mm And from that, would you agree he works out a mean analogy, three terms, and then he adds a fourth, and these three he talks about as being the most beautiful of all analogies, the mean analogy. Would you agree with that? I'm now at 32. Agree? I'm not sure about the visible. Pardon? I'm not sure. The, the last point I, I am aware of, but that midpoint, that there is a uh, mean analogy in the realm of the visible, that, could you point me to where you, what we're talking about there? I can't recall it at the moment, and I hate to miss it. Just now that which has come into existence must needs be a bodily form, visible and tangible. Yet without fire, nothing can become visible mm -hmm. nor tangible, without solidity nor solid, without earth. Hence in the beginning, Right? In beginning to uh, construct the body of the all, God was making it of fire and earth. And would you agree? These are the things he talks together, and he said, This is the most beautiful of all analogies. Ah, uh, yes. 32a. I, I do. I agree with that. And therefore, okay. analogy binds all the whole universe into one. And gotcha. Right? Good, good. And then when he adds the fourth at uh, 32C, for these reasons and out of these materials, such in kind and four in number, the body of the cosmos was harmonized by analogy and brought into existence. Therefore, what does analogy do? It harmonizes the universe, right? Mm -hmm. right. Harmonizes the universe. Is that a good quote? Yes. Right, which is at uh, 32C. Right. Um, then would you agree we go further into uh, this conclusion, of course, uh, saying that each of the four parts, it takes all, therefore, the whole universe, each of these so-called elements is a whole, nothing left over. So therefore, this is a whole of all holes. Right, it's that whole which is complete. There's nothing left over. It's complete and total. Therefore, he established it in the heavens. And he says, you know what, as a result of this, this makes it, this makes it, through these powers, a blessed God. Yes or no? Yes. yes. What does it? What's the, what's the structure behind it that makes it a blessed God? Analogy. Analogy. 
Is that what he's doing? Oh, that's rather clever of him. Would you go along now? We're into Seoul at 32. Um, pardon me, 34. Okay. Would you agree the soul is made of three things? I mean, analogy again. Brought together into a unity. Agree? Yes. And then he disperses it out in terms of what's called the lambda. Take different parts of it. And between these, you already know that he has four sets of mean analogies. Agree? Four sets, not one, two, three, but four sets of analogies, mean analogies. All right. One. All right. Two. Take these three together. Three. Take these three together. Four. Therefore, he has principally four mean analogies and the lambda function, and between them, he constructs 10 series. Because between any one of these, he has two kinds of mean analogies, arithmetic, arithmetic and harmonic. Agree? Mm -hmm. So would you agree he's developing not only a structure with geometric analogy, but arithmetic and harmonic he puts the three together, and luckily enough for Nubuya, uh, he didn't use the golden section. Right? But he does in the mean and ally, in the mean in the republic. Okay. Um, would you agree then? Uh, he then goes through the mathematics building this, as we were doing the other day. And when this is done, would you not agree? He gave sovereignty to the revolution of the same. Remember now he puts these two, ties them together so that a circle within a circle revolving on the outside is same, inside is other. And you can then place all of these and they then constitute the position of the heavenly bodies but it turns upon itself, right, in one spot, and turns upon itself, which gives us the key step into the question of Usia. Right. Therefore, the construction of the soul had been complete at 36E, And now he wants to talk about what happens now that it's come into, in, into form in this form, fabricated. He has to put in now the corporeal, because up to this point there isn't any. Right, because he wants it to partake of reasoning and in harmony, and therefore we're now dealing with the section we started with. Is it possible then that this example we're using continues the whole theme. What's the major theme so far? Analogy, analogy, and different forms of analogy. Mm -hmm. If that's so, can we go back and ask the questions? Let's go right back to the question just for the fun of it. What is this, what is this identical, right, with? Whole set of things. I mean, the structure of the universe. Pardon me. I thought, haven't we been listing a whole set of things that's yes. identical with? Yeah, you could go all the way up to the right. top. All the way up to the top. Right, since this is unfolding. Yes. Ah, ah. So it's identical with could be the very act that brought into form the providence of God. Which is 29, is it not? Therefore, mm -hmm. what is it? Likeness. He says the way to do that is you have to have a likeness between model and copy. Model and copy, God and the creation. Right, right. So likeness is the that. Wait a minute, then. 
Is this, in general, the form of the idea of likeness, which is uh, the fundamental principle that creates the universe in order to bring about the providence of God? Oh, oh. Hey, from what is it different? question. Why? You're not going to answer this one, though. I bet you a nickel. No, I, I wasn't planning on it. Well, why should I give up my question for yours? Because I'm too I'm dissatisfied with all the agreement. I don't care. Stay with mine, and then okay. I'll answer yours. No problem. Mike came first. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> come on, come on. Try it. No, I, I got I to gotta nurture my own You're question. stuck back there. Okay, yeah. go ahead. I just want to know. All right, what why, the heck? Why do we want to say the four terminology is identical? This this four terminology is identical rather than similar with everything that's been said. I, I, I don't believe I said it. It's identical. Well, that's what's up there. Identical. Oh, no, no. What is the object identical with? This is the object. What is it identical with? This is the object. The four terminology. Not just the foreign terminology. This, we're using this to show the structure of analogy, okay. the foreign terminology. Okay. What could it be said to be identical with? Could it not be the basic design of the universe to show the providence of God? Sure. Ah! I know, hey, hey, wait a minute, how's it different? Structure. How's it different? One's the model, one's the copy. Hey, wait a minute. Now, uh, what relationship does it have? Hmm. Likeness. I have to remember what th this crazy word means. Right? See, it's a very strange word. And in what relation? That's why it might be worth looking at just this phrase. And I think the text originally was German, wasn't it? Greek. Greek. Oh, okay. Would you take a look, please? Come on. In what relation? See, the question is, does this continue developing the same theme? If so, you have to keep the theme and keep pushing it. Yeah. Proselyte. In respect to what? It means, sorry, in, in Mark, yes, please give the whole phrase. Please, Barbara. I was just asking him to give the whole phrase rather than just mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. prepositional phrase. I'll take either one. Pros hoti te malista kai hope kai hopos kai hopote sumaine katata nomina te pros hekasto nekasta inai. Kai prosta kata tauta ekhomta ai. And in what relation, where and how and when it comes about that each thing exists and is acted upon by others, both in the sphere of the becoming and in that of the ever uniform. Well, as you go over that, you'll also look at the left hand side of the page. Remember, it doesn't have a why and it doesn't have a who in these questions. Agree? Agree. As you look over the interrogatives mentioned here, all the questions, he doesn't stick in a why. That's because uh, this letter wasn't in Greek, that's why. <laughs> if, you're trans if that was a translation, maybe and the you other is slow who? it down and point out. Okay, look, 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 see. Try it now, come on. From what we're saying, how would you answer that? That means you have to hold this in mind and hold the way we answered this one and see whether following this logic, whether or not you can then say, okay, in what relation? Agree? And you can get help, can you not, from left and right? Are you still going to go to right? Okay. okay.
is it asking in one sense that the soul is going to determine what the function of the thing is and so how it fits within an analogy? Because it's saying, it's asking See. what, like we were just saying, an analogy sets out similarities and differences, same and other, or reveals same and other within two sets of terms. So I was, I was wondering whether that's what the soul is doing. No. The soul is determining, in a way, what does it relate to? No. How, what is it similar to? What is no. it different from? So long as you keep in mind that the word soul is nothing other than the way being functions, right? Remember now, it's the same idea of being then called Usia, the two kinds of Usia mixed up with. It's a cognitive thing then, no. right? So, um, what is identical with? <coughs> being. Being. Oh. Ah. And how is it different? Functions differently. And what's its relationship? And in what relation is it? Hmm. It functions differently. Mm -hmm. Being functions differently in the soul. What is the soul? The right. soul has three parts. And they mix together. Being, being, being. <laughs> Agree? One kind of being impartable, second part partable, third part is just being itself, and that's used to mix this up. So it's nothing other than being. But since it's functioning in a different way, it takes on a new name, soul. Well, wait a minute. If not, let's push it. Hey, we're not idling here. Come on. Where and how and when it comes about that each thing exists. We can talk about that, can't we? How does it come into? How does it come to be? The mixture, right? When, when it was made, created, right? And then what is it acted upon by others? Both in two realms, becoming and being. Oh. Oh, then you can make certain judgments about it when it's in respect to the one and then the other. Same and other. Ah. Ah, oh, I'm rather curious. Oh. Okay, look here. Uh, one of the criticisms of last week, which is really severe, was that this is really simple. All you have to do is the real object we're talking about is Plato's time is. Yeah. And all of these questions should fit the work itself. We're only taking a part of it. We should be able to do it for the whole thing, shouldn't we? Yes. Because so far we're only dealing with it, but not yet in terms of the body. We don't know how it functions in respect to the body because that's where we're going. Oh. So this would be, this would be the key unit to understand the whole Timaeus. Well, that's your theory. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. We'll put your name on it. But I got to prove it. So therefore, would you not agree we have to go careful now and keep all of this with us as we proceed? Yes. Good. All right? Thank you so much. Yes. Enough. I need something to drink. I'm drying out. Ah.